Great, great day as we celebrate full parental equality in Massachusetts. We're here today to say that full parental equality is here to stay in rights, in protections, and soon in law. We're grateful to all of our partners in the legislature for their leadership. I want to start on behalf of our fabulous Lieutenant Governor Kim Driscoll and myself, thank um, the leaders in the Senate. Um, we're grateful to the Speaker and to the Senate President. We are grateful to the original sponsors of this legislation because this has been an effort for some time now, as many of you know. And uh, we really thank our champions, including Representative Sarah Peake. Here you are. Yeah. It's um, nine, nine terms in the legislature for Rep Peake. So this is a great way to go out. to Senator Julian Sear, <laughs> Representative Hannah Kane, <laughs> Senator Bruce Tarr, <laughs> Representative Kay Khan. This is also a great way to go out. And Representative Adam Scanlon. Also on the conference committee, we want to thank our speaker pro tem, Kate Hogan. <laughs> Rep. Michael Day and, and Senator Will Brownsberger. We're also delighted to be joined today by Senator Eldridge and Representative Cairns. Um, and I'm sure there are others out there. Today is also about celebrating the work of the advocates who um, have to stay at this work for days, for months, for years on end sometimes to, to see something through on behalf of residents in the state. And it's really, really incredible the work that was done. I want to thank GLAD, our legal <laughs> champions for decades. Great, great legal team at, at GLAD. Um, joining them to create a community of support, of course, the All Paths Family Building. And finally, to all of the members of the Massachusetts Parentage Act Coalition, thank you. Most of all, we're just really, really grateful to all of the parents and children and families who are here today. It takes a lot uh, to create, to support, to grow a family. And your courage has ensured that future families will not have to endure some of the same experiences that some of you may have had to endure. Um, your feelings of exclusion, the unnecessary obstacles and barriers that were there, um, all the while you're trying to do something good, something great, right? Um, and so I just really appreciate everybody who stuck through it and, and showed others the way, been incredible role models and representatives, and today helped us get to where we need to be as a state. Um, so thank you to our parents and to our children and to our families. You know, Massachusetts is a great state. I brag about us all the time. We're a great state. We're a state of firsts, we're a state, I just came from something talking about the American Revolution and the place where American democracy was born. We're also the place that 20 years ago declared that love is, love, is love, right? And that um, we should be able to, to marry the people we love. But we've known that there is more work to do. Um, and today we take another decisive step forward because we're able to say with one voice, what defines a family is love and commitment. 
That's what defines a family, not outdated notions of who should be a parent or how a child should come into the world. This is a victory indeed for all families in Massachusetts because as we strengthen the definition, we elevate and honor the parent-child bond. Um, and that's important, you know, as somebody who used to do civil rights work and I stand alongside Arlene Isaacson today and other tremendous advocates. <laughs> It turns out that when we defend freedoms, when we ensure and, and fight for greater rights and protections, it benefits not just those directly impacted, but it, it benefits everyone. It benefits everyone. It makes us a stronger community, state, country, and today is an example of that. It's also why we're not gonna rest on our laurels. We never do in this state. We need to continue to take opportunities to do what is right, to be inclusive, and to truly provide and ensure equal treatment under the law. The state budget that we signed this month, and thank you to the legislature for the, for the budget, includes a special provision. You can now amend your marriage license and your birth certificate to accurately reflect your gender identity. This. And I wanna thank our fabulous uh, Commissioner of Public Health, Dr. Robbie Goldstein, for his work. And, and our Under Secretary of Human Services, Mary McGowan, who's also with us today. So that's a little bit about the state budget. The HERO Act, we signed that the other day, celebrated that. Historic veterans legislation, the most comprehensive the state has ever seen. And in it, we're expanding the, re the reach of the Veterans Equality Review Board. Um, this is a board that we created last year. It's a board to help make sure that veterans get the benefits they earned. And if they were treated unfairly or discriminated against because of Don't Ask, Don't Tell, this is gonna make that right for our Massachusetts veterans. And I'm grateful to the legislature for, for righting uh, those, those wrongs. And, um, you know, I'll just, uh, I'll just say this. I, um, I really do appreciate the work that's gone into this and the, the continuing effort here. Um, as somebody who's proud to be um, the first woman, uh, gay woman elected governor in the country, um, I really, and and if, while I was elected the, the country's first gay attorney general, what, I rem what calls to me most though is the work done by advocates over the years on so many cases, on so many fronts, fighting so many forms of discrimination against the LGBTQ population. And, it saddens me when I see certain politicians want to exploit um, and take us backwards, and we're really clear here in Massachusetts that we are not going back. Uh, we're all about going forward, and so I just want to say, you know, as somebody who's been a beneficiary of so much advocacy over the years and, and so many trailblazers who made it possible, frankly, for people like me um, to get elected and to serve, um, I am so grateful for this step today and for what we are doing to support more families, more parents, more children here in our great, great commonwealth. Thank you to all of you, and let me bring forward our fantastic Senator, Julian Sear. Uh, thank you, Governor Healy. Um, it is such an honor to stand here uh, before all of you uh, in allyship with this incredible coalition uh, to take a major step forward to ensure that all individuals are given the same right to have their love and partnership and families protected by law. Um, with unprecedented and alarming actions in other states that strip away rights of LGBTQ people and our families, uh, here in Massachusetts, uh, our outdated, our heterocentric parentage laws um, were a real barrier, a real everyday concern for tens of thousands of families living in this state. 
Um, and no longer will families like mine be at risk because of the Mass Parentage Act that the governor is signing into law today. Um, this is so huge and important. Uh, and, you know, I, this bill, this bill is personal. This bill is personally to me and to my family. Um, because of this law going into effect, my sister and sister-in-law are pregnant with their second kid. Um, my sister-in-law is not going to have to legally adopt um, you know, her, her soon-to-be daughter, right, because of the actions we've taken here today. Uh, so this is something where uh, it took a whole lot of effort, a whole uh, family of folks advocating here uh, in, this, in this building, making the case in a bipartisan fashion to get this done. Uh, I am so grateful to Governor Healy, uh, to your entire administration, uh, birthday girl, Lieutenant Governor uh, Driscoll, uh, the whole uh, Healy Driscoll administration for being partners with us uh, on this on day one to get this done. Um, you know, really, really uh, cannot say enough good things about the very swift, efficient conference committee that we had. Uh, a big thank you to Chair Day, Diane in his office, um, for, for making this happen in, in swift time. Not letting the clock run out on this one. Um, my fellow conferees, uh, Kate Hogan, who has been a partner on so much uh, here in this building in leading um, our mighty 10-member strong LGBTQ caucus. Uh, Hannah Kane also served as a conferee, uh, really showing our, our, our bipartisan approach here. Senator Brownsberger, Will, um, just a tremendous partner on so much, as well as our minority leader, Bruce Tarr. I want to thank Jamie Eldridge as well, Senator Eldridge, for being here today, um, who did so much to get this bill out of committee. Um, and then I, I, I want to especially um, laud and thank my friend and mentor, Sarah Peake. Uh, yes, as, 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 as whatever is happening on the third floor, uh, it, just, just the... Um, appreciation and admiration that we should all have for Sarah uh, in her 18 years in this building. Being an example, <laughs> paving the way, right? Folks like me and more and others, right? Don't, we, we all are serving on those, uh, those who, who've gone before us. Um, and then I want to also thank uh, the Senate President who I spoke with this morning. I want to thank the Speaker uh, for making sure that this got done. And then the tremendous coalition of people who made this happen, uh, our entire coalition, but especially GLAD, especially Polly Closure. Um, especially Arlene Isaacson, who is in Brat Green, I may add, very, very on brand, Arlene. Um, and, and the All Paths uh, Family Building Coalition, uh, all of this making this happen. Uh, I want to recognize Representative Donnie, who, uh, who is here as well, uh, and I'm now going to turn this over to uh, my friend, Representative uh, Kate Hogan. Kate Hogan and I have been leading um, with, with the, our 10 members in the LGBTQ caucus, uh, and I'm getting a lot done this session, right? Not just the Parentage Act. Uh, the governor spoke about the provisions uh, that were in the budget. There's also provisions around Gender X that we got done, uh, unprecedented levels of funding. We are not resting on our laurels here in Massachusetts, um, and I could not be more grateful for my friendship and partnership uh, with our Speaker Pro Tem from the House, Representative Kate Hogan. Good afternoon, everyone. You know, passing the Massachusetts Parentage Act this session was really a priority for so many of the LGBTQ rights champions in Massachusetts. We were joined by teams of advocates, attorneys, assisted reproductive rights advocates, domestic abuse survivors, veterans, scholars, and others. We're grateful to leader Sarah Peake from the House Sarah is a dear, dear friend. Uh, she will be missed, but we are so happy that she helped make marriage equality happen 20 years ago, and she was instrumental in seeing this bill through to the finish. So quite a career, quite a remarkable career. I'd like to thank Rep. Hannah Kane, an ally and a friend who can make the, the Republican Party fun. <laughs> We are always so grateful for all of the help and all of the work that Hannah brings to her job. She knows who she is and she knows what she's here to do. Judiciary Chair Mike Day, the guy you always want him on your side, not, not on your side. And he had a remarkable session. And with this bill, uh, he met numerous stakeholders and continued to work into the wee hours of the night till we had it done. 
So thank you, Mike Day. To the LGBT caucus that, you know, we keep making it happen and defining who we are and the bills that are important to us and we'll continue to do that throughout the years. Speaker Mariano, who announced at the House take up this legislation along with House Ways and Mean Chair Michael Witz. He kept his word and he brought the bill to the House floor for a vote. All the brave parents and families who stepped forward to share their experiences and show how necessary it was for us to update our laws. Arlene Isaacson, co-chair of the Massachusetts Gay and Lesbian Political Caucus, lead lobbyist who I have had many conversations with walking to and from the chamber <laughs> over many months and now we're here. So thank you, Arlene, all of the advocates who champion this bill, and of course, our governor, Maura Healy. We know this bill safeguards the rights of all families who use reproductive technologies to have children and gives them the legal protections they need and that they deserve. And so it is my great pleasure to now introduce Polly Crozier from GLAD. Uh, we would not be standing here today if not for the many, many courageous families and tireless advocates. One of those advocates is Polly, Director of the Family Advocacy of GLBTQ Legal Advocates and Defenders. Please welcome Polly to the microphone. Thank you, everyone. Love is love. Love is love. I mean, this is a completely amazing, wonderful day. It is so joyous to be celebrating here together a new law that so positively impacts all children and families in the Commonwealth. I think we all know that family is foundational, and there are so many ways to have a family. Uh, for too long, unfortunately, the law has not recognized all of us. Massachusetts led the country on marriage equality 20 years ago, yet remaining gaps in our statutory protections still caused tremendous harm to Massachusetts children and families. I've seen these gaps in my law practice, at GLBTQ Legal Advocates and Defenders, and in my own family. LGBTQ families, for one, have had to jump through maddening and humiliating hoops to be protected. Others have had literally no way to protect their children. Children were unnecessarily swept into the family regulation system. They were taken out of state, away from a loving parent without recourse. Children languished for years without the protection of parentage. But no more, no more. Now all children and families have equality in parentage. The Massachusetts Parentage Act truly means dignity, it means security, it means equal protection under the law. It means access to essential benefits, particularly economic benefits that everyone needs to thrive, like access to health care, access to social security benefits, medical decision making, and so many more. It has been GLAD's tremendous honor to co-lead the, the MPA coalition these seven years with All Paths Family Building. Um, I think all of us in this coalition have held and heard so many honestly painful stories from family members, from children, from parents, uh, but we have been able to witness incredible grit, incredible spirit, as we never ever gave up on a vision of Massachusetts that included and protected and really loved every child. Um, so thank you, thank you, thank you to the many children and families um, two of whom are here with us to speak today. Um, thank you to the almost 70 organizations that make up our coalition. Um, they have worked tirelessly to pass this legislation over the years. There are LGBTQ groups, there are children's rights groups, there are reproductive rights groups, there are hospitals, there are medical societies, there are local foundations and businesses. So many people working together, understanding the importance of this legislation to the well-being of children and families throughout the Commonwealth. And of course, thank you to the members of the legislature who voted unanimously for this bill. The House and Senate leadership were phenomenal supports and Judiciary Chairs Day and Eldridge and their staff, they dug in and committed so hard to passing this legislation this session. Thank you so much, Diana. Thank you so much, David. Um, to our lead sponsors, you all are fabulous. 
um, to the Attorney General, to the Governor, the Lieutenant Governor. You have been with us literally every step of the way, and we won't forget your leadership, because this has never been a political issue. In Massachusetts, this has been a moral imperative to protect our children and families, both in Massachusetts and wherever they go. Because in the past seven years, since we first filed this bill, unfortunately the country, for some, has turned back the time clock and become uncertain and dangerous for many of us, particularly LGBTQ families. Um, and I think this bill, which is based on the Uniform Parentage Act of 2017 and has been successfully implemented in other states, is a joyous and crystal clear sign the Commonwealth is not going back. The Commonwealth is committed to being a state where all children and families are respect, respected, included, and protected. So um, thank you so much, Governor Healy, for welcoming us to the People's House to celebrate today. Um, and now I have the pleasure of introducing Karen Partinen. Her story and her Supreme Judicial Court case helped launch this effort. Um, that was a 2016 case. Launched this effort for inclusion for all families in our statutes. And this, her story is really similar to many other LGBTQ families who will now be protected equally under the law. So, Karen. Thank you. Um, this, this day is huge. It is, it was, she's 10 years ago that um, my partner and I decided to go our separate ways. And at that point, that was when I was told that I wasn't my children's parent anymore. Um, there was outdated laws. And as devastating as it was for me, just imagine how that was for a two and a five-year-old who didn't, didn't understand that, like, where did mommy go? Why did mommy just abandon me? So here we are today, I, I mean, I did everything I could. I, some of you may remember, I knocked on every door, I called every person I could think of, I emailed, who can help, who can help? I don't have any money, <laughs> who can help? But I did, I drained all my bank accounts, I was eating out of food pantries, I was doing whatever I possibly could to make sure that the rights of my children were secure. And ultimately, the Supreme Court did decide that in 2016. My children are not here right now because they are living their best lives off at summer camp, doing what kids should do, um, but otherwise they would be here. But because of, I got, um, my family was protected, there was still so much work to be done. I joined on to the Massachusetts Parents' Coalition, which we just said, we gotta, get, we gotta pass this. There's, there has to be done. Um, there were families out there that were irreversible damage that was being done to this separation. There was um, financial burdens. There was, I mean, anything that you, you couldn't imagine what these families were going through and these children, they just didn't understand what happened to one of their parents. So here we are today on a happy note that they don't have to worry about that anymore in Massachusetts because of thank you to all of the legislatures who passed this. This was just amazing. Thank you to the Healy Driscoll administration for getting this signed. This is such a big day and no other family has to go through what my family went through. We have a happy family now, but it was a tough time getting there. So um, thank you. And, I want to, for another perspective, is from, I want to introduce Darmani, who can give you um, the other side of the perspective of what families go through. Uh, well, first of all, good afternoon. Uh, my name is Darmani Jimenez. Uh, I just graduated from Boston Prep in June. Right. And I'm been and in the fall, I'll be te attending uh, LaSalle University out in Newton. Um, I live in Mission Hill, grew up in Charlestown, Boston. has been my home my entire life. And I'm so happy to finally be here today after first testifying in front of the committee in fifth grade um, to finally be here celebrating the enactment of this bill. Um, like I said, I've been supporting this since I was in fifth grade, pleading with adults to have <clears throat> my family recognized legally and deserving of protections as any other family. Um, my mom, Kylie, has raised me since birth, who was a close friend of my biological mother, who loves me deeply, but as most people, ha and as I do, have faced mental health challenges and needed help raising me and my siblings. My mom, Kylie, she stepped in from day one. She's been there for me through my best times and worst times. Uh, she's always helped me put a roof over my head, clothes on my back, 
everything I have is because she's been provided it for me. And she's even somehow got me through online school, which was, and for lack of better words, a pain in the ass. <laughs> um, day in and day out, she's helped raise me to help me become the man I am today. Um, she went through the long, expensive process of being established as our de facto parent in court, but that didn't give her the recognition as our, as our full legal parent. Equal protection under the law is something I learned about in school, and I was actually able to educate some of my teachers last year on, um, which isn't always that you get to educate your teachers on something. So, um, But my family's always had the shorter end of the stick, the fewer rights and protections than other families. At the end of the day, I haven't seen her as anything other than my parent. Um, she's always been there for me, my rock, and nothing can put into words how much I love you. So, um, Our family may not look like other families, and yeah, we came together in a non-traditional day, but at the end of the day, we're still a family. Um, and we know that, and now, thanks to the Senate, the House, Governor Healy, this is now, the law is gonna recognize it too. Um, I'm so grateful to Governor Healy, Polly, everybody that's put in the work to get this, get us to this point that we're at right now. And thank you to all the families, all the other advocates that have been here like I said, putting in the work. So thank you for helping Massachusetts be finally join the rest of New England and having these protections. And with that, I'd like to hand it back to Governor Healy. Oh, wow. Well, that, um, you know, what Dermani and, and Karen really say it all, and uh, thank you so much for sharing your stories with us today. This is the exciting part of it. I was thinking about what to give the LG for her birthday, and this is a pretty good gift, right? Yeah, yeah. So we're gonna we're going to um, we're gonna move to the signing of this. Is that right? All right, great. It's coming to you. Yeah. <laughs>